so communication challenges while people primarily communicate through natural languages like hindi english etc french or chinese the computer programming languages differ significantly in structure and syntax so designed for ease of compilation into computer instructions good morning students welcome back to pluto science so today is the 29th day right and today we are going to study about artificial intelligence so in yesterday's topic was the nano technology nano technology so uh, similar to nano technology this topic is also very very important so basically i mean the artificial intelligence in news only uh, from the 3 to 4 years so the questions have been less but there is a lot of scope in uh, i mean there is a lot of scope scope that questions may be asked from this topic in the upcoming examinations because plenty of news plenty of news are there about artificial intelligence right so similar, similar to nano technology uh, here also in artificial intelligence also basically we are going to target the application part so basically we will study applications of nano technology we will focus there because the questions are basically being asked from the application part first we will try and understand the uh, definitions of artificial intelligence so uh, ogland in 1985 he defined artificial intelligence as so it is the existing new effort to make computers think uh, machines with minds in the full and literal sense so basically he is saying that making the machines to think that is artificial intelligence right we see the latest definitions which have been given recently so skolkov in 1990 given uh, has given a definition so he said that ai is a field of study that seeks to explain and emulate intelligent behavior in terms of computational process so this is the given uh, definition given by skolkov in 1993 luger and uh, stubblefield they have given a definition so they said that ai is the branch of computer science that is concerned with the automation of intelligent behavior so he said um, they said that it is artificial intelligence is the automation of intelligent behavior so there are many kinds of dis- uh, dis- uh, definitions experts they have tried to define artificial uh, intelligence through various definitions so if we see all these defi- uh, de- uh, definitions it is i mean the core concept of artificial intelligence is so it is giving the computers computers are being given the ability of thinking thinking like a human being so basically uh, the mind and uh, neurons neurons in the mind are the source of thought process uh, for the human beings so basically basics uh, the computers have given this neuron like function so basically whatever the chips and uh, all these things are there so they uh, they work as the neurons in the human body and uh, the machines will mimic the human beings in the thinking process so that is basically artificial intelligence so perspectives on ai so there are very variety of perspect perspectives when it comes to artificial intelligence those are thought process and the reasoning so hugland and the bellman emphasized that ai is concerned with thought process and the reasoning viewing the mind as a machine associated with human so this is the opinion of these two experts uh, when it comes to behavior behavior aspects so these scientists they focused on behavioral behavioral aspects of uh, systems suggesting that computers can behave as intelligently as human 
Yes. So these three experts opined that uh, computers can, uh, we can say, mimic the exact human behavior, and they can uh, they can be as intelligent as human beings. So similarly, there are also perspectives about about human performance and uh, ideal uh, intelligence. So if we, I mean, these are technical things. When it comes to examination, we don't uh, need technical aspects. So uh, if we understand all these things, so we can, uh, <laughs> if we combine all the definitions and the perspectives, we can come to conclusion. We can come to come to a conclusion about the artificial intelligence. So the AI can be organized into four categories. So when we see all these definitions and uh, perspectives, we can come to four. Uh, we can say categories. Uh, when it comes to artificial intelligence so they are systems that think like humans so systems or computers uh, are there those they think like humans similarly systems that act like humans so some systems or computers they act like act like human beings so these are parts of the uh, artificial intelligence similarly there will be systems they think rationally so rationality means Thinking uh, based on a cause, reason. Thinking rationally means so the thought process is based on the reason or fact. So machines start thinking rationally. I mean they take decisions based on facts. Right. Systems that act act rationally and reproduce. So acting rationally means acting based on the facts. Acting based on the based on the fact not on the assumptions so there will be systems that act rationally and respond or reproduce so these are the four components or we can say four categories of artificial intelligence try to remember them so think like humans act like humans uh, think rational and act rationally and reproduce so these are the categories of artificial intelligence right so this is uh, this is the brief introduction of, about artificial intelligence so basically artificial intelligence means the uh, machines or the, especially the computers machines uh, mimicking human beings mimicking human beings in thoughts in thinking and in act right so now we will understand the uh, what the computers can do or what artificial intelligence can do. Right. So they can help in problem solving. So they can uh, approach like human beings in problem solving. Right. So artificial intelligence, uh, when we understand what is problem solving, so artificial intelligence focus on designing intelligent computer systems capable of exhibiting behaviors associated with human intelligence such as understanding language learning reasoning and problem solving so basically human uh, human being is capable of doing all these things so machines will also try to imitate the human being in all these aspects right if you see the problem solving in artificial intelligence so it is a fundamental aspect of uh, artificial intelligence research encompassing techniques for solving puzzles, playing games like chess, and uh, tackling complex mathematical problems symbolically. So all this can be done by artificial intelligence. Right. So if we see the components of problem solving, so search problem and uh, reduction. So AI programs employ techniques like looking ahead, dividing problems into sub problems, and the symbolic integration on mathematical formulas to solve the puzzles and games. Similarly, they can do goal formulation. Right. So before beginning a search for solutions, an agent must formulate goal and use it to define the problem. So artificial intelligence, uh, computers or machines can do this one also. Right. Similarly, there is heuristic search. So what is meant by heuristic search? So heuristic search involves using techniques that may that may not guarantee a solution that may not guarantee a solution 
but are effective in solving specific problems right so they may not give a specific solution but they help uh, in solving a problem effectively right similarly uh, if you see the application of ai in heuristic search so heuristic methods including game playing have been dominant in early ai applications and are still widely used so game playing such as chess demonstrates problem solving capabilities of ai systems so if we see the example of chess playing computers so chess playing computers represent a significant achievement in ai research show causing machines ability to play strategically and defeat human champions like gary kasparov kasparov so he is a chess master so they have achieved the capability of even uh, defeating the uh, we can say highest rated players even the grand masters right so if we see the future directions so they can help in generalized problem solving so advancements in problem solving techniques not only benefit game playing but also hold a promise for broader applications in ai research so future endeavors aim to apply these techniques to a wide range of problems faced by intelligent agents so in the future <laughs> the applications of artificial intelligence may help in solving the problems like intelligent uh, intelligent agents like human beings also right second application is natural language processing so basically we the human beings have the capability of understanding the language and responding to it so but there may be a limitations so basically if i am capable of understanding hindi and english but i may not and i may not understand the italian or the french language so these kinds of limitations are so there is a limitation of the number of languages we can learn as a human being but the machines will help in addressing these problems so it can learn i mean practically learn all the languages that are existing and it can translate the language for us right so one of the i mean the other aspect is so whatever the instructions that are given to that particular machine so uh, as a, as we are as there is a communication between the two human beings so the machines can understand our language and it can give a proper response to our questions so that thing is also possible right so communication challenges while people primarily communicate through natural languages like hindi english etc french or chinese so computer programming languages differ significantly in structure and syntax so designed for ease of compilation into computer instructions basically as you all know so basically computers have a different language because they do not understand our language so this is the problem earlier that was existing so potential benefit through artificial intelligence is if computers could understand the natural language the language exact i mean spoken by the human beings themselves so they would be more user friendly and seamlessly integrated into people's life so in that case they can be seamlessly the artificial intelligent machines they can seamlessly be integrated into human life right similarly uh cognitive linguistics and language comprehension so goal of this aspect is to cognitive linguist uh, linguistics seek to develop a detailed theory of language comprehension and production enabling the creation of computer programs capable of understanding and producing natural language so basically we can say this is uh, possible already so we can have generative ai generative ai is they like gemini and uh, the most famous one chat gpt so uh, i mean the machines have come uh, that they can understand the natural language of human beings and instantly they can respond so because of this reason the chat gpt has become more and more popular intelligent machine programs so these programs uh, possess the ability to understand a natural language respond appropriately to questions and to provide explanations and translations so this is already being done through the uh, chat gpt and gemini like 
or we can say artificial intelligence uh, machines. Right. So it also helps in explanations and uh, translations. So intelligent machine programs can explain word meanings in other terms and uh, translate between different languages and uh, it by demonstrating a comprehensive understanding of natural language. So we can say this is already a possibility. So now the tools like ChatGPT and Gemini, they can translate a language and uh, they can define words and uh, they can work as a bridge between different natural languages. Next one is next application of uh, artificial intelligence is machine vision. So the, if you see the aspects about vision, so information processing, vision involves processing of information to understand the, so understand a scene from which projected images. So basically if you see a, see a image through so vision, we will get some information about that picture. So images captured in two dimensional functions, they are recorded by sensing devices and converted into digital form for computer processing. So doll E is coming, uh, it, is, it is the, we can say product of uh, chart GPT only. So there it can, there, those AI can even process the images also, right? So if we upload the picture, it can give give explanation or whatever it can see, it can give the description of that particular picture also, right? So images captured by two dimensional functions X and Y, they are recorded by sensing devices and converted into digital uh, form for computer processing, right? So if we see the difference between human vision and mach machine vision, so human vision, uh, in human vision, I acts as a sensor. So I acts as a sensor in human vision, while the visual cortex in the brain processes the received information. So in the brain, visual cortex is there, it will process the information. All right. So the sensory organs form representations of our encodings of the environment, facilitating some questions, but making others challenging to answer. When it comes to machine vision, so machine vision aims to mimic the human vision, uh, perceiving and understanding scenes depicted by pixel images. So it operates so similar to, similarly to human vision by processing visual information. Right. So if we see the machine vision in artificial intelligence, so it helps in simulation of human vision. Right. As part of the AI program, machine vision seeks to develop system systems that can visual, uh, simulate human. So basically, whatever the image we upload into the artificial intelligence machine, it will give the description of that particular image right by replicating human like visual processing these systems aim to understand and interpret visual information so the advantage of this kind of uh, we can say uh, quality is so we can uh, upload the x-rays or we can say any uh, images medical documents uh, especially x-ray kind of things uh, to the artificial intelligence machines so they will analyze the problem and they can come to the uh, conclusion they can give a suggestion about the particular medical uh, medical we can say intervention that can be taken uh, on the particular person so for example a person's uh, we can say a person has a hand uh, we can say hand fracture so x-ray has been done and x-ray has been uploaded into the artificial intelligence machine so that particular machine can examine uh, that particular x-ray and it can give suggestions about where the particular part has to be operated or not to be operated. So this is kind of application. This is one kind of application when it comes to machine vision by artificial intelligence. Next one is uh, machine learning. So, if we understand the importance of machine learning, right. So, learning is crucial for intelligent agents to navigate unfamiliar environments. So, one of the, uh, we can say, uh, in, in, uh, interesting or important the capability of human being is learning the things, whatever uh, he or she sees, they learn and they put to put that uh, learning to application wherever it is required. 
so basically in artificial intelligence also the machines are learning the things and they will put that information wherever it is right so inductive reasoning involves learning a function from examples or input and output. so it is fundamental to in, uh, intelligence learning is fundamental to intelligence in its general sense it is considered as a fundamental component of intelligence so learning is fundamental component of intelligence right so applications and the potential of machine learning if you see so it uh, helps in enhancing the computer's capabilities right so machine learning enables computers to uh, computers to perform tasks tasks beyond the capabilities of human beings for example some some examples are uh, lightning fast arithmetic computations and uh, disease detection from available data so these kind of uh, tasks can be performed by machines right so it is going to have a wide spread impact when we incorporate the we can say machine learning in the, in the computers so if they have a far reaching imp uh, impacts or implications contributing to expert systems development problem solving methodologies medical diagnostics and more ultimately enabling enabling computers to perform tasks efficiently and effectively so these are the advantages of machine learning right so this is the this is the information or knowledge and part important uh, from this topic for for the point of view of examination so you try to study more about artificial uh, intelligence uh, from your side uh, majorly focus on the applications aspect right now we will see uh, some questions asked in the examination from this topic artificial intelligence so question first question it is asked in 2020 so question is which of the pre, uh, which with the present state of development artificial intelligence can effectively do which of the following so the options are so with the present state of development question is with the present state of development artificial intelligence can effectively effectively do which of the following options are bring down electricity consumption in industrial areas so it is possible uh create second option create machine uh, meaningful short stories and the star songs so this we can see uh it is already happening through chat gpt and gemini this is diagnosis it is also possible text to speech conversion so in natural language plus we have seen so it is also possible we can feed that text into a system and it can produce the voice uh, the i mean artificial intelligent machine it can produce the voice next wireless transmission of electric electrical energy so <coughs> right so this fifth option option it may seem uh, not relevant but uh, if you see the official uh, when we have seen the official kpsc so the option fifth option is also included in the as the correct uh, statement so in the i mean the official key uh, the option d all the statements all the statements are correct that has given as correct so in the previous class also when i was discussing the nanotechnology i said so when you you solving the technology questions or the questions from snt science and technology topics try to have a broader view i mean the things uh, that may seem impossible for us so it might be i mean they might be possible also so same applies to this option also fifth option if you see generally of in a layman's understanding it for us it may seem that it is not possible but it is possible that is confirmed by ups so because of this, this reason so try to have a broader uh, approach or broader view when you solve the science and technology questions so basically generally the all the applications whatever that will be given under a questions generally the all will be possible so try to go with this approach but be careful don't blindly follow this to each and every questions but generally if you take the general base all the applications that will generally be, generally will be given are possible so generally the option will be all above but uh, be careful it will not be apl apl applicable to all the questions for the most of the questions but for most of the questions 
right the next question so it is not completely from the artificial intelligence so i uh, i already told so the as it is a uh, evolving topic and it is into news only from 3 to 4 years the question is far less nevertheless artificial intelligence is an option so now we will see the question it is asked in 2018 uh the question is consider the following pace so three pace are given uh belay to experiment so it is uh, the pair is artificial intelligence blockchain technology digital or cryptocurrency so crispr cas9 it is uh, paired with particle physics so basically a theme is given and the associated technology is given so here we can see belay experiment is not related to artificial we can say the machine learning machine learning is uh, we can say associated with artificial intelligence so this pair is not correct blockchain technology so it is associated with digital cryptocurrency this is correct as we all know right crispr cas9 so it is not related with particle physics actually crispr cas9 is related with gene editing so basically belay to experiment we can say it is actually related with particle physics belay experiment it is about uh, experiment it is an experiment about one type of we can say heavy particle right so the option is option correct option is option b only statement is so try to have knowledge about these kinds of emerging technologies also so there may be a question like this So this is all for today thank you thank you for joining the class